Full disclosure, freshman Democratic Congressman from New Jersey, Tom Malinowski, and I both served on the staff of Senator Daniel Patrick Moynihan before Tom went on to serve in the Clinton administration and most recently in the Obama State Department as Assistant Secretary of State for Democracy, Human Rights, and Labor. In the House Foreign Affairs Committee today, Tom Malinowski had a chance to question Donald Trump's Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo. If we're going to be so forceful in denouncing socialism, why is the administration so high on communism? Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the very statement there is pretty outrageous. Well, I'm talking about North Korea, sir. Um, the most perfectly realized communist state in history, a, a country where the state owns everything and everyone, and yet the administration is repeatedly referring to how it has, quote, awesome economic potential, how it can become an economic powerhouse, quote, unquote, without changing its system, simply by giving up nuclear weapons. Carson Malinowski was just getting warmed up. I'm asking because there's a whole lot of rhetoric about liking Kim Jong-un, falling in love with Kim Jong-un, Kim Jong-un being our friend. Mm -hmm. And so let me ask you, why is liking Kim Jong-un a sufficient reason to cancel or not to pursue sanctions against companies helping his nuclear program, as the White House said last week. I'm Sir, quoting the White House there. There have been more sanctions put in place by this administration with a global coalition than at any time in the world's history, sir. And yet liking him is cited as a reason not to do more. And Last week, President Trump tweeted that he was going to undo some sanctions on North Korea. The White House press secretary then issued a statement saying, President Trump likes Chairman Kim, and he doesn't think these sanctions will be necessary. Is Kim Jong-un responsible for maintaining North Korea's system of labor camps? He's the leader of the country. Is he responsible for ordering the execution of his uncle, the assassination by chemical agent of his half-brother? Uh, he's the leader of the country. Was he responsible for the decision not to allow Otto Warmbier to come home until he was on death's door? Um, I'll leave the president's statement to stand. He made that statement. We all know that the North Korean regime was responsible for the tragedy that occurred to Otto Warmbier. I've met that family. I know those people. I love them dearly. They, so suffered, like? they, suff they suffered mightily, sir. So what's to like? They suffered mightily, sir. So what's to like about Kim Jong-un? Sir, don't, don't make this a political football. It's inappropriate. It's inappropriate to do. Well, when the White House says that sanctions decisions are based on liking Kim Jong-un. Political football. That's what Mike Pompeo calls the question, so what's to like about Kim Jong-un? Mike Pompeo knows the answer to that question is nothing. But Mike Pompeo also knows that he could lose his job for telling that one word truth in today's hearing. Mike Pompeo was terrified, terrified to tell that truth in that hearing today because Donald Trump allows his appointed officials just about as much speech as Kim Jong-un allows in North Korea. That's tonight's last word, the 11th hour with